temperatures are already creating cold classrooms. Some of Austin ISD's aging schools have a history of not being able to produce enough heat to keep students and teachers warm. Today, teachers had to plug in portable heaters at both Lee and Cassis Elementary schools when their boilers went out. KXA's Jacqueline Powell looks at what the district is doing to keep classrooms warm. As temperatures drop outside, parents and grandparents want to know that their kids are staying warm in class. It uh, contributes to the learning process, you know. I think when the kids are cold, they have a little bit harder time concentrating. AISD's maintenance director says the district has spent months preparing. Over the summer, we start looking at our heating uh, systems. Lewis Zachary says he has 60 plus employees and contractors working every week to proactively fix any HVAC problems. Still, on the coldest day of this school year so far, a couple of schools' boilers stopped working. Those issues happen from time to time. But we make sure we try to address them as quickly as possible. These are photos of portable heaters teachers had to use at Lee Elementary while the school's boiler was out. AISD has companies on standby that can provide these in a pinch. Zachary says at Russell Lee Elementary, the boiler just had to be reset. At Cassis, a part had to be replaced. And though the heat stayed on at all of the district's other schools, AISD maintenance received 29 heat-related service requests Monday alone. We're working and preparing each and every day just to make sure that our students and staff are comfortable when they arrive into the classroom. Meanwhile, Zachary says as long as it's below 55 degrees out, the heat will automatically run in all AISD schools, even overnight, creating less of a workload for HVAC systems in the mornings when classes start. Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. Looking at recent history may help explain the heating issues. This tends to happen when heaters get cranked up suddenly, either after school's not been in session or when there's a drastic change in temperature. The first day back from winter break last school year, Austin ISD received heat-related work orders from 90 of its 130 schools. And just about a year earlier, in December of 2016, temperatures plunged from near-record heat to near-record cold over one weekend, resulting in complaints from 21 campuses about single classrooms, libraries, or cafeterias that weren't warm enough. Jim Smith.